here we have the seventh question in integrated algebra and it's uh, related to the identifying the property and question is saying a method for solving 5x minus 2 minus 2x minus 5 equals to 9 is shown below all right and identify the property used to obtain each of the two indicated steps okay so here is our question and first what we have done here uh, simply we have distributed this by multiplying this 5 to first x and then again we multiply by 5 to this 2 and we distributed that into the 5x minus 10 similarly here 2 first multiply x and then again 2 multiply this 5 and that has been again distributed as a 2x plus 10 all right and our distributive law what does it say is uh, that if it is x and y plus z then simply you can multiply x times y i mean you can multiply x to y first and then again you can multiply by x to z in the next time x z i'm going to say if it is 2 and if 3 plus 4 then you can multiply 2 times 3 and then 2 times 4 all right that's the same thing so this that we have used here so this is distributive property all right this tree beauty we have distributed it so distributive property and now here it is uh, 5x minus 10 minus 2x plus 10 so we collected this 5x and 2x together here all right and then we collected this minus 10 and 10 same looking thing together here okay so what we did here actually we used here something like this uh, if it is 2 plus 3 then I can easily write that 3 plus 2 and both equivalents to 5 so if it is x plus y then I can write that y plus x similarly if I have x plus y plus z then easily I can write x plus z plus x whatever however you want to change it so similarly if I have p plus q plus r plus s all right let's say this is uh, uh, wait let's say this is my p let's say this is my q let's say this is my r let's say this is my s so I can easily write here this is equivalence to p plus r plus q plus s finally both are same thing you know here 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 you know this is this law is called actually commutative law you know commutative law commutative law all right so uh, here it simply says like uh, here you have it is 5x and then plus it is minus 10 all right and then you have minus 2x plus minus 2x and then plus 10 plus 10 so the same thing you can easily write without any hesitation using the commutative law first 5x all right as it is and then minus 2x I mean I'm talking about this r all right so after that you're writing here minus 2x because finally plus times minus that's minus 2x I mean plus minus minus and here you have minus 10 and you have plus 10 so this is your q so you're writing first q here and then it's going to be minus 10 and now the last one that is 10 as a s plus 10 so you represented this style into the this style by using commutative law all right so this is oh my god it's writing commutative law commutative law property oh god bless my handwriting 